I think that Brandon Johnson is awesome. <laughs> Brandon Johnson has to be the most awesome man that I've ever seen in my entire life. I deserve, I believe that he deserves an award for politician of the year. No, let me revise that. Public servant of the year, of the people, for the people, by the people. He one of y'all, boys. Came up, raised right, in the church, leveraging the taxpayers' money in order to support the platforms. Listen, I wanted to bring Brandon Johnson to the front of the congregation yesterday. Y'all said, Philly said, nope, nope. Tie my bootstraps, boy. Are y'all proud in Chicago? I know y'all get mad at me for bringing him to the front of the congregation, but I'm just curious. Are y'all proud of Mayor Brandon Johnson? Is he the highlight of your life? When you look back at his tenure over in Chicago, and I have no doubt in my mind that he's going to get reelected for another term. No doubt. One thing I know about the people in urban cities is, A, they do not show up to the polls, Right? They only got like a 10% voter turnout rate during the non-local elections. And then B, you guys love pain. You love agony. This is like a bet. Listen, the people of Chicago, I'm not even just going to bring Mayor Brandon Johnson to the front of the congregation. Let me bring Chicago to the front of the congregation. The people. The people in Chicago, y'all ain't nothing but some scorned modern wives. Divorced wives, you love Chicago, men, women, children, your babies, your grandmother, your grandmother, your grandfather, the people of Chicago, you are nothing but modern women in your spirit. You love, you ain't nothing but Suki Hanas and Sexy Reds. You can't wait to get in a toxic relationship. Ain't no way in the world you could ever stand with being with somebody that's going to actually help y'all city. You're looking forward to looking forward to making sure that you stay in a toxic relationship because if he don't hit you, if he don't take your tax dollars, if he don't kick your ass, sorry, all of the people that's in church that's listening to this and all of the uh, daycares, I'm sorry. Ass is in the Bible though. If he don't beat you up, then he don't love you. The box ain't as good. Y'all y'all look for makeups, makeup box, right? You like that. You like that. Listen, it ain't right if it ain't if it ain't a fight. It ain't right if it ain't a fight. If y'all didn't have that fight, <laughs> if you ain't fight with him, it ain't going to hit the same when y'all make up the next day. You know what I'm saying? Because then it's going to be like, Jody, Jody, Chicago, this is y'all fault. Y'all are in a toxic relationship because you are the toxic ones see the same way that we hold people accountable we say men you picked her woman you picked him you knew he wasn't no good for you he promised you and told you that he wasn't no good for you before he came in but you opened up your legs to him anyway that's the same thing that that brandon johnson is doing to y'all brandon johnson is pookie and ray ray of politicians brandon johnson is is the Pookie and Ray Ray of politicians. Budget? Nah. Who cares about it? Crisis? Eh. Not a big deal. Homelessness? Eh, we're not going to worry about it. Crime? <laughs> Just large gatherings. Y'all seen Lori Lightfoot. Listen, Lori, nobody even remembers Lori Lightfoot. Brandon Johnson did such a... Uh, uh, a uno reverse on y'all for what it is that y'all thought that y'all was getting. Nobody even remembers Lori Lightfoot. Remember Beetlejuice? Nobody even cares about Lori Lightfoot. Brandon Johnson is so bad that nobody is even tripping off of what Lo they think that Lori Lightfoot was a good was a good mayor. All of a sudden, y'all think that Lori Lightfoot was the truth. Now Lori Lightfoot looking like a saint. Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. Let me get Lori Lightfoot up here so we can give her her praise right now. Give her her flowers. Lori Lightfoot. Ah! 
My eyes, my eyes that deceive me. <laughs> hey, Lori. Hold on, hold on. Let me give you your flowers, Lori. What up, Lori? Get it, girl. Get it, Lori. Okay, girl, I see you. Make it rain. Hey, Lori. I'm about to make a collage of Lori. Like, for, hold on. Before we get into this, let me make a collage of Lori Lightfoot so that we can give Lori her flowers considering everything that y'all put her through. Y'all, look at, look at how sad y'all had Lori Lightfoot. How disgraceful, how unappreciative you guys are. <laughs> how unappreciative you are of Lori with all of the things that she did for you. I'm just randomly pulling up Google images. Don't worry about it. We're going to get there. Of all of the things that... <laughs> of all the things that Lori Lightfoot did for you. Y'all say, hold on, let's get a full body pickup in this joint. We're not going to just go one way. We're going to go the whole way. Let's get a full body pick in here. <laughs> My eyes. My my eyes, does my eyes deceive me? Does my eyes deceive me? No, y'all wanted to sit here and complain about Lori. Remember what y'all had? Remember why y'all voted the way that y'all voted? I'm going to cover my whole live stream up with Lori Lightfoot. Let's see. Let's go with one more. One more. Let's go for the jugular. Here we go. Here we go. I got it. I got it. This is it. This is the final nail in the coffin right here. This, this summarizes Chicago and what we had to go through. Are you guys proud of yourself now? Did I not summarize the last four and a half years that you guys had to deal with? Uh, in Chicago, <laughs> they said I'm so immature. Trendy likes. Why am I immature? No, don't sit here and tell me that I'm immature. This is what y'all created. You said that this is what you wanted. Huh? This is what you wanted. This is Chicago. Shout out to Chicago. You said, you know what? We no longer are rocking with Lori Lightfoot. Lori Lightfoot, you deserve all the flowers in the world. Yep, yep, you deserve it. This is the people, the people's champ. Specific, this is the people's champ. Don't get mad at me, I didn't vote for, I didn't have the ability to be able to vote in Chicago. Don't sit here and talk to me crazy. I didn't do nothing about it. I didn't do it. You did it. Why are you not mad at yourself? Let's go over to Chicago. Let's see what's happening. We got to keep, keep it going. Let's see what's happening today. Developing this morning, a new migrant shelter will open today in the Pilsen neighborhood. It's what? the latest housing option for asylum seekers in Chicago as even more continue to arrive. CBS 2's Mugo Odigwe joins us live to explain. Good morning, Mugo. Good morning, Dana and Ryan. So we've learned five more buses carrying migrants arrived in Chicago just yesterday. So even as this new shelter opens mm -hmm. up today, there's still an mm -hmm. urgent need for more shelters, especially as we approach winter. Now, just last night, we know community members gathered over at Benito Juarez Community Academy to discuss the new migrant shelter. The facility at 2241 South Halstead will house up to 400 families with children with plans to eventually expand capacity to 1,000. It is the latest shelter to open up. Right now, there are 23 shelters operating in the city of Chicago. More than 9,600 migrants are staying in those city-run shelters, but almost 3,000 more are still waiting for housing. And again, more buses carrying migrants are expected to arrive in the next few weeks. Expansion plans. Expansion plans, y'all. 
expansion plans in in Chicago. Whole buildings. Listen, y'all couldn't get O Block under control to save y'all life. Y'all had a homelessness crisis over in Chicago since I've been born. Since I since Twister came out with adrenaline rush. Since Twister came out with adrenaline rush. Since Twister been playing with y'all emotions. Uh huh. Yeah. Before Kanye, before, since Common dropped, I used to love her. Since I could remember, y'all had a homelessness crisis. Somehow, some way, they found some money to be able to expand. We're expecting at least a, a, a 1,000 family, not individual, families. 10,000 people. More buses on the way. Four, five, six, 25 buses arrive every day. And you know what Mayor Brandon Johnson said? Literally word for word. We will remain a sanctuary city. Uh, yes, the greater good and the need of the community is not based off of money. It's not based off of what the taxpayers need. It's not based off of who lives here. It's based off of the need of the people that we don't even know and we didn't even do any checks for to find out whether or not they're worthy of being here in the first place. I think he deserves an award. At the very least, he got balls. Balls of steel. And meanwhile, the crisis at the border not only affecting the border and border cities, this week a record number of migrant buses arriving in Chicago, mm. the Midwest's largest city. On their way. They say, you got that, we got more. Y'all gonna remain a sanctuary city? Let me go ahead and pay for their bus ticket to get there. Yeah. Is more on the way. Receiving at least 27 buses since last Saturday, sometimes without warning, each bus carrying about 50 migrants. Now, the mayor of Chicago thinks he has a solution, inking a $29 million deal to build a winterized tent camp mm. to house the asylum seekers. But as I learned, as I learned this week, the idea is highly controversial, and the need unfolding on city sidewalks is growing by the day. When you hear that 2,300 migrants are now living at police departments and airports in Chicago, this is what that looks like. Police departments and airports. Listen, when y'all fly into Chicago and you're going over there and you say, ooh, I'm about to take my chick on a staycation. We just going to fly over to Chicago. The weather is good. It's 80 degrees, 80 plus degrees. We about to go over to the Miracle Mile hang out make sure that we take the kids we're gonna go and walk down the street just in case we got to go over to the police department and make a report let me step over this tent when you go to chicago god bless you this is what you will face when you get there tents and more tents, and more tents. They say, we see you over there at Los Angeles. We see y'all skid row. We gonna one up you, we gonna raise you. We see you five tents, we gonna raise you 15. Y'all not gonna outdo us. What y'all thought that Gavin Newsom over there was gonna be over there, run up, run it up? Y'all thought that y'all was just gonna be taking dumps over there in San Francisco, and we wasn't gonna be over there taking care of business? Absolutely not absolutely not we are going to make sure that we create some tents in, the, in chicago's airport over here on this on the streets there's 2700 of us that's still waiting to be housed we need our papers we willing to work we willing to take your jobs we willing to to run up the bag use taxpayer dollars take your health care take your man don't y'all know listen listen a lot of people ain't even really taking this into consideration y'all know school started dang your schools Y'all already had 35 kids per classroom. Here's more. 35 kids per classroom, per teacher. Here's more. They got your schooling. You paying for them to go to school. You know your schooling is based off of your tax dollars, right? 
is based off of your property taxes. You want to know why your property taxes is going up? Because they're raising money in order to make sure that they take care of the people that's coming in. That's going to be your neighbor. Hi, neighbor. I love you. For days or weeks, migrants and their families spilling onto sidewalks, trying to stay clean and cut their children's hair, trying to keep their temporary Baby. space in order. Look at them. Look at these good people trying sweeping. Trying to distract their children. As the adults are caught in red tape. The hey, playing soccer. Hey. Doesn't allow them to work. Only wait. Javier and his wife have a little three-year-old girl and a five-year-old. ¿Cómo te llamas? Oh, oh, making my heartstrings break. ¿Y cuántos años tienes? Tres. Yes. They say they left a dire economic situation in Venezuela, but the cartels were waiting for them in Mexico. He said the cartel extorted families trying to pass for 6,000 American dollars per person. He didn't have the money. He and his family managed to escape, but he says many were killed at the hands of the cartel. I asked what he told his daughter during the violent journey. ¿Qué le dijiste a tu hija? When things were dangerous, I told my daughter that we trust God, that he was going to bring us here, and we have faith we will get here safely. And your savior was Mayor Brandon Johnson. Took their communion, caught that bus, and Mayor Brandon Johnson was sitting there with his arms open and said, listen, God spoke to me, spoke to my father. I'm not necessarily a preacher. But I'm definitely a teacher. And God spoke to me. And he said to me, listen, you open up your arms to these people. You open up your arms to these people at somebody else's expense. Listen, you don't have to spend your own money, but just make sure you open up your arms. It's not for them to understand. It's for them to embrace what it is that you have for them. It's not up to you. It's up to God told me to use your money and make sure that these people are taken care of. But God, ain't that what the church folks say? But God, won't he do it? Won't he do it? <laughs> they crossed the Rio Grande and were bused to Chicago more than a week ago. Just one American city of many pushed far past any semblance of capacity. Won't he do Almost it? 30 buses arriving in just the last week. Just one of the stories we're hearing today, a woman who miscarried and was still bleeding when she was put on the bus here to Chicago. And we are seeing so many migrant camps like this one springing up at police departments in airports here in Chicago. I want to bring you in here. 2,300 people are living like this right now. And we are hearing so many common stories of extortion that they experienced at the hands of cartels in Mexico. So many families and children here and just how dangerous, how perilous the journey was. Mm. The Chicago mayor's solution to this winterized tent cities drawing mm. sharp criticism from city leaders and civilians in a meeting on Friday. Putting them in tents is inhumane. It's the sickest thing I ever heard of in my life. At the meeting, allegations of tent contractor Garda World's checkered past repeatedly mentioned the American... Oh, now we're starting to get to the money. Looks like everybody is watching the Millionaire Morning Show. Garda World. Garter World is going to build some tents for $100 million, trillion dollars. <laughs> American Friends Service Committee found that Garda World is one of the companies allegedly involved in mistreating migrant children at the border. NBC reported they are tied to a migrant labor trafficking scheme at U.S. Not NBC reporting that they're tied to a, uh, 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 a trafficking scheme at the border. Wait, 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 wait. So is NBC reporting that the very same company that's getting the contract to be able to build Tent City for tens and tens of millions of dollars are also the ones that are allegedly being accused of participating in the very thing that they're building housing for? Say it ain't so. Freaky Jason, is Anton always right? Yes, he is. What did Anton say from the very beginning of this whole conversation? Because it's not just them. It's all about the money. It's all about the money. So while y'all over here being distracted 
thinking that it's about culture, it's about racism, it's about the poor, it's about the rich, we gonna go over here, we gonna do that, 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 that. You sitting over here being distracted. Meanwhile, they getting it on both ends. Allegedly. Allegedly. This is what, M I'm just reporting what NBC is reporting. I'm just reporting what NBC is talking about. If NBC wrong, then hold them accountable. I'm just reporting what News Nation is talking about that NBC is saying, so I just got the word of the word of the word. But I just figured I'd bring this to your algorithm because you guys are not familiar with what's going on out here in these streets. You are so distracted by the things that don't actually add value into your life. Meanwhile, the people over there in Chicago is over there getting finessed. <laughs> U.S. military bases. These allegations caused Denver to cancel their contract with Garda World in July. News Nation reached out to Garda World in a statement. It said in part, quote, we categorically refute all allegations of abuse or neglect in any Garda World company operations or activities. We highly value the safety and well-being of the people and communities where we operate. Look like we're going to have to do a little bit of digging. Look like we got some work to do. Look like we got some journalistic work to do in order to ensure that we find out where the money is going. But ultimately, what is Anton trying to communicate to you guys? What is Anton trying to communicate to you guys as the community rallies together to try to figure out what's going on with the migrant crisis. We have several new developments tonight in Chicago's migrant crisis. First, a stern call from Governor Pritzker for the White House to do more about the crisis. In a public letter, the governor directly asked President Biden to intervene in the border busing program that has brought thousands of migrants to Chicago. Mm. He went on to call the situation untenable and again asked for expedited work authorizations. He said the state is struggling to find more housing for the migrants as tensions rise throughout the city. And throughout emphasizing that everything is untenable, because they think that just because we see students that we can't use our context clues to understand what the heck is going on. Because everything is untenable, right? We need to expedite the ability for these people to be able to get their work visas in order to ensure that they can start taking care of themselves and then be able to get all of the work that they need in order to ensure that they can work and take jobs from y'all. Oh, so much money going everywhere, every in which way. We don't even know where the money is going but we gotta make sure that we get these people to work. Cause the situation is untenable. Shout out to the best mayor in the United States of America. I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't even think that Mayor Brandon Johnson knows his right from his left. I don't even think that he has a clue. I believe that he's just a puppet. He's just a puppet. He is just one piece. He's the face. The face of the... If you look at Mayor John... Honestly, in my opinion, if you look at Mayor Brandon Johnson and you pay attention to how it is that he's responding and how he looks like a deer in headlights whenever they start to ask questions, he don't even look like he have a clue. He has no clue of what the heck is going on. He's just going ahead and just funneling in and just doing what he's told to do, in my opinion. He looks like he's just doing what he's told to do. He looked like a puppet. Is this what y'all call keeping it real? I'll stay on top of it for you guys. That's one thing that I can promise you. As long as I have breath inside of my little chinny chin chin, you can guarantee I'm going to follow where that twin 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 is going. You know what I'm saying? 